Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from cinemasound.com. Today we're going to be using Adobe Premiere Pro to do something kind of unique in the sound effects department, and that's creating what I call magic attack. Let's roll. All right, we're here at Adobe Premiere Pro, and we're going to be doing something called magic attack. Now, what we would typically want to do with something like a gunshot is be able to have as punchy of a sound as we possibly can with a nice decay that gives the brain of the listener the sense that, oh yeah, this was say a nine millimeter or a 45 or some kind of a firearm. And the attack usually for cinematic purposes of a single sound effect are usually kind of milk toast, usually kind of thin. And we want to be able to add sounds to that. But a lot of times what happens is that if we lengthen the attack of the sounds that we're layering, it starts muddying up what the decay of the original sound is like. And that has the listener go, that really wasn't a nine millimeter, that was something else. But if we do what's called magic attack and we only use a few milliseconds of the sound that we want to add as an attack and then have the rest of the original decay happen, it's pretty good. Let me show you what I've got here. So here's a nine millimeter Glock sample. And I've taken the attack off of it, as you can see here. It's actually cross-fading in. Uh, it's a mono sample that I've made stereo by delaying one channel uh, left and right by one frame and then cross-fading in. So I don't really need the attack of the 9mm. It's not really that necessary because we're going to replace that with a bunch of things like this, the uh, Civil War cannon. Now, what I've also done, because some of these are kind of flubby, like if I turn, I've added a single band compressor. If I turn that off, and then bring it back on, much punchier. So here's a gun on a tank. Nice, sharp sound. And here's explosion with metal debris. Cool. Here's a boom and a wrecking ball. Ooh, juicy. And start adding them together. That one's a little low. There we go. Just enough so we can hear them all. So that's a pretty crazy sound. And if we unsolo all of these, Han Solo, unsolo, uh, come on. Uh, you can see that I've bust them all to a submix, and that's this right here, so we can solo it. The reason I've done that is because um, you can see I've actually made a little crossfade. It's not a crossfade, it's a fade out so that it gently brings it. Uh, down and we can do that. I don't have to do this on a crossfade because actually for some reason there's a bug here in Premiere Pro where if I put a crossfade on these, they don't work. So uh, I'm having to do it without anima uh, animation. Automation. Check it out. You know, mute the nine millimeter. And we can actually probably make this a little bit nicer. This to there. And ease out, just to give it a little nicer curve. There we go. Super nice. Now, if we add that to the nine millimeter uh, and unmute. And if we just do that nine millimeter by itself, And then, I'll, you know, we're kind of driving our limiter here on the output, so a little hard. So let's pull down the 9 millimeter just a little bit to give the attack of these things to come through a little harder. Now, what you've got is a massive big explosion bang at the attack, but your brain still goes, oh, that's a, that's a, a gun, a 9 millimeter Glock, because the decay is there. Now, what happens in if we make these too long, your brain doesn't think that. Uh, and in fact, to do that, what we'll have to do is select all of these, drag them out, change our automation to here.
doesn't sound like anything, you know, nine millimeter, nine millimeter E. It sounds like, you know, big cannons. But this, your brain goes, yeah, that's a nine millimeter. And that's the beauty of magic attack. And you can do this with anything where you need a punch and then a brain recognizable decay. It's incredibly powerful when you can take the attack of anything and then make it powerful and then have the decay tail out into what audience brains thinks is the real sound that you're supposed to hear. It's so great. And you can use this in just about anything that has a transient. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If so, please subscribe to it here on the YouTube channel and enjoy the hundreds of other videos that we have available to help you get that Hollywood level million dollar audience immersion into your productions. And then of course, join us at cinemasound.com where we have the world's only fully comprehensive education for audio and picture that takes you from knowing nothing about sound all the way into delivering in Dolby 5.1 in powerful deliverables. Hopefully we'll see you there. If not, we will see you in post. Come <laughs> on.